So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's episode, I'm reviewing the brand new JVC NX7B projector. It's also known as the RS2000 model. So this one here is a true native 4K resolution projector. And this is an upgrade to my current JVC RS55 projector, also known as the X70 model. That was their mid-tier model from 2012. That was a full HD unit, so 1080p. So I'm, I'm upgrading all my custom home theater to 4K standards, and this one here is gonna be at the centerpiece of it all. So I'm gonna talk about the features, we're gonna talk about the installation, and of course, we're also gonna talk about the performance. So without further ado, stay tuned, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So as I said, today I'll be talking about the brand new JVC NX7B projector. It's also known as the RS2000 model. Essentially, this is a native 4K resolution projector. I'm currently in the process of upgrading my entire custom home theater in my home. So it's located in the basement of my house that I had built brand new in 2012. And the cornerstone of that home theater was my JVC RS55 projector, also known as the X7 model that was a 1080p full HD unit with 4k e-shift uh, so it was kind of mimicking 4k resolution but of course things have progressed a lot in the technology sector sector inside of the projectors and today we have a full-blown 4k true native 4k resolution projector and this is their mid-tier model once again so this is the nx7b it has a bunch of awesome features which we're going to go through today i'm also going to talk about the installation so i'm having professionals come uh, it's a pretty simple swap so i can keep i can keep my current chief mount for the projector that i had so installation is a breeze and uh, of course nothing changes except that i'm getting a better quality picture much brighter and punchier pictures plus we have the addition now of HDR so that's pretty awesome guys by the way I'll make sure to include the links to this projector in the description under the video for you guys to check out the features uh, more in detail or all the specifications if you want to so essentially this is a brand new projector for 2019 so they have the NX 5b NX 7b and NX 9b essentially the major differences among the three models is the native contrast ratio so the NX 5b has a 40,000 to 1 native contrast ratio the NX7B bumps that up to 80,000 to 1, so that's more than double. And then you get the NX9B, which has a 100,000 to 1 native contrast ratio. So like all the other projectors in their brand new range for 2019, this NX7B model has true 4K resolution natively, which means 4096 by 2160 resolution. Also, it has brand new DILA devices, so 0.69 inches times 3, so state of the art. Also, it has an all-glass lens, so that's very important. All JVC projectors have an all-glass lens which of course means a sharper picture quality especially at the edges of the image so that's very important it has this matte black design so this is a totally new design for 2019 so i thought that was pretty awesome in the back you're going to get two uh, hdmi ports which are let me check on the notes here these are uh, hdcp 2.2 compatible of course to enable the full 4k signal with 18 gigabytes per second transmission bandwidth they have a new remote so it's a more sleek and compact design. So if we have a look here at the uh, new one compared to my old one for my previous JVC. So this is the new one. This is the uh, old remote for my RS55 projector. So as you can see, the new one is very sleek, very compact and very minimalistic. So it goes with the uh, nice matte black design of their projector. So among the other features, this projector features HDR technology or high dynamic range. So you get that bright picture, you get that awesome contrast, and of course that leads to better perceived picture quality. So of course to have HDR, you need a lot of light output. And this one here outputs 1,900 lumens. So compared to the 1,200 lumens that I had from my previous projector, the image on this one is a lot brighter and much punchier. You also get those deep inky blacks that JVC is known for so I've compared a bunch of projectors of course through the years and I always stopped at JVC because the black levels are absolutely insane in my home I also have an OLED 4k TV which are known for their deep black levels and in the projector side well I think there's none better than JVC they have best-in-class resolution best-in-class contrast best-in-class 
glass black levels. Of course, the uh, native contrast of 80,000 to 1 is awesome, and the dynamic contrast goes all the way up to 800,000 to 1, so you can expect a lot of those nuances to be perceived on screen, so you're going to get those bright, punchy pictures thanks to the strong light output. By the way, very easy to switch out the lamp now. I'm happy that JVC upgraded their uh, drawing or their uh, engineering of the unit, because previously you had to change the lamp. It was in the back of the unit, and now we have an access port on the side of the unit here, so it makes it even simpler for you guys to switch your lamps. Uh, the lamp inside this model is up to 4,500 hours of lifetime in normal mode, so that's a lot more than my previous JVC unit, so they pretty much upgraded everything. With the NX7B, you get a wider color gamut coverage, so this exceeds the DCI P3 specs, so you get a beautiful picture that's very punchy, some awesome colors, awesome contrast, and very rich and saturated image, which is awesome when you're watching a movie. So of course, it's compatible with HDR content to improve your image quality, but an awesome feature, and I think it's one of the rare ones that comes with it, is auto tone mapping features. So what is auto tone mapping in a nutshell? Well, essentially, the projector is going to read the metadata that's on the 4K Blu-ray disc, and it's going, to, it's going to adjust the image brightness and, of course, a bunch of other settings automatically for you to get the best output. So we all know that it's always harder to get a bright, punchy image with a projector, but along with the 1900 lumens output and also the auto tone mapping feature, you can expect an awesome picture quality. Of course, it's going to be uh, much brighter and you're going to have the optimum picture quality every single time because the projector does the decisions for you based on the metadata that's on that disc. All right, so now let's talk about the installation of the JVC NX7B projector. Well, if you have a previous version of a JVC projector, it's super simple because you can keep your existing ceiling mount to install the projector. So in my case, I was able to keep my chief mount for this new unit. So you basically swap one for the other and the job is done. To do the installation, I used the guys from Quebec Acoustic. So I salute the owner Richard from Quebec Acoustic. If you're in the Montreal area, these guys do an awesome job. They're an authorized JVC dealer and installer. So we install that on the ceiling. I already had a 10 meter or 33 foot cable, an HDMI high-speed cable from 2012. It was an AudioQuest Cinnamon cable. Uh, so the uh, bandwidth needed is a bit higher now, and for that length of cable, I needed a stronger signal, and I didn't want to destroy the ceiling to run a brand new cable. So what we did is we used a THX approved pixel drive unit. This is from a company called PixelGen. So let me bring that in closer because this is going to be a life saver for those of you who have a cable that can't support the new 4K signals. So these guys here, this is the unit. This is a pixel drive design. So this is the company, Pixel Gen, and Pixel Drive is the unit. Basically, it's a range booster or signal booster for your existing cables. So let's focus here on the unit itself. So uh, what this does essentially is it allows you to get the full bandwidth needed for the new 4K signal. And that Pixel Gen Design Pixel Drive extender is placed at the display end of the link. So let's have a look here. So you have an HDMI out. And on the other side, you have an HDMI in. And so this is used to revive uncompressed Ultra HD signals up to the maximum 18 gigabits per second bitrate over new or pre-existing passive long-reach HDMI cables. So uh, in my case, this was a game changer, or I should say a lifesaver, because it allowed me to keep my uh, existing cable. And basically this small unit just connects at the rear of the projector. So one cable, uh, coming from, of course, the HDMI run in the ceiling that goes in and one cable out to the projector and that's it. I have the full 4K signal without any hiccups. So a uh, very small compact design. And they also have a unit that's called the Excel that you can supply power to through a micro USB uh, charging little cable as you have for some cell phones. So uh, two different units. You can check the, of course, the information out. By the way, again, I'll make sure to include the links to all the products that I talked about today in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. But uh, check this out. Pixel Drive from Pixel Gen. Uh, thank you, by the way, uh, for inventing this product because it's a lifesaver. It allows you to not have to uh, go through your ceiling and walls again just to run a new HDMI cable that's capable of those 4K throughput speeds. Of course, if you have um, the uh, cable lengths that are very short, so one to two meters, that's fine. Even your high-speed uh, standard HD cables from a couple of years ago should still do the trick. 
But in my case, it's a fairly long run at 10 meters or 32.8 feet. So in that case, I needed to boost that signal to make sure I got the full capacity. So a quick tour of the uh, home theater setup. So this is the new uh, JVC DLA NX7B projector, the equivalent to the RS2000 model. And uh, so I have a 7.1 speaker setup. Pretty sweet, a dedicated home theater room with uh, motorized seats and some new equipment. So here we have my uh, Golden Ear Triton 2 Plus speakers, a Golden Ear Triton double XL center channel. We have the new uh, Marantz SR8012 receiver, high end. And we have the Oppo UDP203 4K Blu-ray player. And we have the Apple 4K TV media player, SVS PP13 Ultra subwoofer. And uh, this is a 100 inch projection screen. So uh, overall, Super sweet setup, and those are the two uh, rear speakers. Those are the uh, 7.1 channel back speakers and the uh, projector. This is the uh, main component to the system. All right, so now let's talk about what's probably most important to you guys, and that's the performance. Let me tell you that this projector delivers on all fronts. It has outstanding resolution. It has amazing contrast and color. And of course, brightness is absolutely stunning. So not only do you have that high dynamic range or HDR capability, but you also have the auto tone mapping. So it removes any thinking on your part. The projector reads the metadata on the disc on its own and optimizes the picture to get that punchy, bright, and contrasty image. Uh, it's second to none, huge increase in performance compared to my previous unit, which was a fairly expensive unit back in the day. If I remember, the retail price in 2012 for my RS55 was roughly $8,000 Canadian or some 6,000 something US dollars. Um, and this projector here delivers on all fronts. It's a clear upgrade. So we went from 1,200 lumens to 1,900 lumens. We now have this 80,000 to one native contrast and 800,000 to one dynamic contrast. We have true 4K native resolution. You also have that HDR capability. You have the auto tone mapping. Let's not forget that all glass design of this huge lens in the front, which is super important to get that sharp image, not only in the center, but also in the corners as well. So all JVC optics, optics are top, top notch. The build quality, again, is second to none. This brand new design, I absolutely love. This uh, matte black finish or satin finish on the top here just looks sleek and modern. You get all the uh, inputs in the back that you actually need. So two HDMI, HDCP 2.2 compatible. You get that full 18 gigabit per second bandwidth needed for that 4K single. So all in all, not only is it a, hu a huge upgrade compared to my previous design, but this has class leading features, including of course that native contrast, those inky blacks, the contrast and brightness, which are second to none and probably class leading. Uh, of course, image quality is outstanding. Build quality, again, that glass lens, what more do you guys want? This for me in its price point is the best projector hands down. So for me, one of the most important criteria when I'm watching a movie is to have the most accurate image representation possible. So as close as I can to what the director intended on the mastered version, so that's super important, and JVC projectors always delivered. Now the next step for me after the break-in period over a couple of hundred hours is going to be to have this bad boy of course calibrated by one of the best in the industry. Uh, and so I'm going to update you on the performance after I have the uh, unit calibrated. But as of right now, this for me, again, best bang for buck. You get three different models, three different price points. So you have the NX5B, you have the NX7B, and you also have the NX9B. So different native contrast ratios, but you still get a build quality that's awesome on all three models. If you want to check those out, again, I'll drop the links in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. Of course, don't forget to check the Pixel gen pixel drive range booster or extender to get that full 4k signal on your existing 
wired devices if you have those existing HDMI cables. I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, show me your support, smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to continue to learn more about gadgets and electronics, make sure you hit the subscribe button as found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So if you also want to have a look at my home theater setup, I'll make sure to include that link up here for you guys to watch the video, and I'll also include the link in the description under the video for you guys to watch that video. By the way, guys, I was not paid by JVC to do this review. However, they did send in the unit for me to review, so a big shout out to Francisco and the team at JVC for making all of this possible. And guys, in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.